Bergman, and you're listening to the Punk Rock Libertarians Podcast, episode 293. I'm here tonight with Jared Schneiderman. Hey, guys. James Babb. Hello. Edward Clifford. What's up? And Lynn Albright. Hey there. Lynn. Hi, everybody. Uh, yeah, <laughs> th- thanks for coming on tonight, Lynn. Oh, my so, pleasure. Thanks for the opportunity. So, you know, I, I think most of our audience probably knows who you are. Uh, now, um, just give a, a brief introduction for anybody who doesn't know who you are. Sure. Um, well, as of about six and a half years ago, my identity became Ross Ulbricht's mother. You know, that's pretty much it for me uh, <laughs> lately. But um, yeah, I'm the mother of Ross Ulbricht, who uh, is serving a double life sentence plus 40 years without the possibility of parole in a, a maximum security prison here in Tucson for um his role in the silk road website uh basically for something he did on a computer when he was 26 and um all nonviolent charges first time offender so i have been i just can't let that stand you know i just can't uh ross should not die in a cage he is a danger to no one and he's a lot to give a lot to contribute so i've been fighting with along with my family and others lots of other good friends um uh, and supporters for years to get him out of there. And so that's, that's basically who I am. The, the, um, website is freeross.org. It's our hub. It has pretty much everything needed to find out about the case, to sign a petition to, um, which, you know, join 330,000 other people signing the petition saying this isn't right. And, um, Anything there's a lot of information. Get to know Ross better. There's lots of photos. There's his writings. There's you get to know who he is, and um, you can also get to know who he is on his Twitter feed, with Real Ross U, at Real Ross U, and he composes those those tweets. He he doesn't have access to the internet, but uh, um, someone close to the family does it, and um, <clears throat> so yeah, it's lots of information out there. I think you kind of sell yourself short in that introduction. I just want to add a little bit to that because uh, I, I don't really think that that does does you justice. Lynn is the super mom that any activist would would die to have. Like everybody says, my mom would never do this. If if the, if we were in in Ross's situation, like you need Lynn out there, and I'm confident that when Ross is out, it's going to be because of Lynn, and it's going to be because of this 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 effort that you have waged continuously full time for yeah over six years now, you were drafted into this cause, uh, the reluctant hero of the story. <laughs> and uh, I think, you know, as I've, as I've watched you go from event to event to event, you, you know, everybody cares about the case. We know that the case is extremely important. Ross is extremely important. But once people meet you, I think, then they're like, Oh my God, we got We've got to get in on this. We have to. What can we do to help? And I've just watched people, you know, come on board. Everybody immediately, you know, uh, just you've attracted this following. So, uh, of of helpers. So, uh, yeah. anyway, it's great to have you here. And I know everyone wants to get some sort of updates on the case. You told me that there's reasons that you're very optimistic now. Uh, maybe you can fill us in on some of those. Sure. I just want to respond to what you said, though. Thank you. Um, it's really it, without the people who have stepped up, like Jim and, and so many others, um, and walked beside us in this whole thing. Ross knows that and is so appreciative, and so am I. So, um, you know, so, so, you know, and of course, Porkfest is, one, is a gathering of so many of those people that I love so much and who have given me strength, you know? I mean, I'm one person. And I, you know, uh, it's, it's like I, I get strength from everyone who's, who's by our side, you know, and has been for years, many of them. So really appreciate it. And it's become a bigger cause for us. It's, it's more than just Ross and it's more, it's, it's, it's really about freedom 
and about our, our the criminal justice system taking away people's freedom and the most fundamental <laughs> fundamental level. Being put in a cage, that's pretty much the end of your freedom, totally. We can all feel a lack of freedom in many ways in our culture, in our society, especially lately. But <laughs> we're in a cage. You're talking about basic stuff. Right. So when was the last time you were allowed to see Ross? Hasn't been no visitors for some time. Yeah, early March. And he's been in, <clears throat> he has been in 22 hour a day lockdown. That's two hours a day out to make a call or take a shower. And then um, for since then, and then oh, when the riots were happening, the entire Bureau of Prisons shut down every prison in the country to 24 hour a day lockdown, which was pretty rough for a couple of weeks. Mm. He's back to 22 hours a day and he's so excited because he gets one hour a week, one, to be outside. <laughs> so um, well, that's torture. That is that is that is insanely cruel. It is. And so, you know, we're hoping that eventually his sister is here from Europe and um, she'll have been here probably six months and she may hopefully she'll get to see him. We don't know. So it's yeah. Very. Uh, it's really hard. Prison is a really tough deal. And um, so, in fact, Ross said he wants to work for criminal justice reform when he gets out, and he'll be a very powerful voice for it, I think. For sure. Definitely. And, I mean, it's it's certainly topical when we see basically rebellion in the streets against this failed criminal justice system uh, that we have that, that persecutes um, people for starting a website um, you know, meanwhile, they're just basically looting the country, <laughs> you know, through the, through the bankers and all their special interests. It's just a free for all. But I think one guy who started a website, it was that threatening to them that mm -hmm. they have to resort to these measures. Um, ideas are very threatening, Jim. And it's disproportionate, <laughs> right? The, the idea is that the punishment should fit the crime. Now I'm not saying what he did is really a crime, but like when child mm -hmm. rapists are getting out, and they're locked up nonviolent marijuana dealers. Like, is that really justice? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's, uh, there's such a disparity <clears throat> of justice going on. In fact, this might be a good time to show that picture. Uh, more technological challenges. Let's see if I can find it. Um, <clears throat> it's a picture that Ross, oh yeah, here it is. A picture that he, um, no, sorry. I, I don't think that's how I'm supposed to do this. I'm supposed to do share screen and find it. Here it is. Share. So this is a picture of nonviolent drug offenders serving life. Life in prison for nonviolent drug offenders. Ross organized the picture. You can see him on the bottom left. And then, you know, behind him uh, are various people who, for example, Sean, who's got his hand on Ross's shoulder, he's doing life for a small user amount of heroin because he was a junkie, he had a problem. He's doing life because it's his third strike. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tony, who's one over from Mustafa, and I can't remember Mustafa's, but Tony is doing life for marijuana in Colorado in a federal pen where it's legal on a state level. Yeah, the wow. guards are probably getting paid with weed taxes. <laughs> huh, interesting, yeah, well, no, because well, it's state. Uh, well, you know, okay. Yeah, it's federal. No, it's your taxes. <laughs> not mine. They steal them from me. Yeah, once pay. they steal them, that's not ours anymore. Not mine. Yeah. Right, right. And then the guy on the far right, he had about five years. And I think he might be out now. I hope and pray he is. But at one point, the First Step Act was passed, thanks to President Trump, actually. He pushed that through. Um, and it, it doesn't go far enough, but it is a first step. And, and it's... Um, uh, does, but the problem is it's not retroactive. That was one of the pushbacks by the Republicans saying, well, no, we can't have it be retroactive. So all these people in the prison were jumping for joy because it meant their life sentence then turned into 25 years, which is the new third strike level. But then they found out it's not retroactive, so they weren't part of that. So it's like saying, well, slavery's wrong. So we're going to abolish it from now on. But oh, so sorry, you're you're already a slave. Oh, no, you have to stay a slave. You know, they well, kind of did that. You know, they actually said, like, we're not importing any more slaves. They, they did make it illegal to import 
more slaves oh. at a time when they're like, well, you know, they didn't want to take everybody's slaves away because I guess that's their support base for the politicians. But, um, and it also like increased the value of their, of their slaves because you couldn't import more. So uh, Interesting. anyway, oh, so that's the same thing, you know, you know, it never, it isn't, some things never like, We need these slaves. You can't take them from <laughs> us. But, you know, oh. I'm looking at this picture and, and saying like, oh, it looks like uh, really all races, uh, ethnicities, uh, classes, ages are represented here. Like That's true. And the guy in the middle is in a wheelchair. Yes. And the guy down below uh, the far right kneeling, Jose, who Ross, he's, I've met Jose and his sister in the visiting room. Sweetest guy. Ross said he's so sweet. And he's in there, third strike, for residue on a dollar bill. What? Yeah, I could have $10 bills with residue. They all have residue. Exactly. Yeah. And I argued with a guard about it. I said, this is so wrong. I, I got into, I, I was in Colorado so long, I got to know all these people. And he, he defended it. And I'm like, well, that is pathetic. How could you defend wow. that? There is no defense. Yeah, no, no defense at all. Yeah, so, well, the SS had things like that too in Germany, so. Oh. Uh, Interesting. Well, there you go. And Bill Clinton said how terrible he feels about this bill that he basically, it's his bill, but he's not doing anything about it that I know of. Oh, too busy diddling kids. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry. <No. laughs> I, didn't I didn't catch it. It went right by uh, me. No. So, sometimes, <laughs> the sometimes the truth gets blurted out on punk rock libertarians. It, 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 it just comes with the, with the show and you have to deal with it. But um, yeah, yeah so anyway, yeah. I think Biden has also tried to backpedal his involvement in, in his um, creation of the incarceration state. I mean, through his yeah, crime he, bills and he has. Three strikes and minim, mandatory minimums and extra federal money for police. This dude has built the, the, this, yep. this farce of a justice system his whole career. Do you, do you think he remembers he did it, though, Jim? Do you think he actually remembers it? <laughs> well, now he's saying no nonviolent person should be in prison. So yeah, I'm like, well, okay, I agree with Joe Biden on one thing. Okay, good. Well, um, you know, talk's cheap, Joe. You know, you, you've, you've been in Senate, in the Senate for how long? 44 years. Okay. Show, uh, will you please demonstrate this new principle? I mean, exactly. let's, exactly. let, let's, sit, let's hear about it, but uh, right. I'm, I'm sure it's just pandering, unfortunately. Yeah. I, I imagine. <laughs> well, what are, what are, now you told me the petition is over 330,000 signatures. Is that it right? Is. And I can pull that up too um, and share. I'll do the share thing here. Um, what do I do again? <laughs> so sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. Share screen. Everything went away when I am. Okay. I'm going to have to pull it up with my computer and then share. Take, stuff. take your time. Uh, okay. This this petition is, has been circulated for I guess uh, two years. Uh, it's two been years a couple now? years okay. now. Mm -hmm. And um, normally, I don't really care about petitions. I don't really think they're a big deal. But I I do think this one's a big deal because regardless of of who ends up being influenced, we have to have a, a demonstrated uh, mass massive level of support for Ross. However, we're getting them out. We have to be able to demonstrate that there are That's millions right. of people That's right. That's that are right. demanding not just he be released. You know, that's that's one of many, but we need sure. we have to be able to document mass support, and this is that's one of the right. ways to do it. So I think this, well this petition is is important just for that reason. Mm -hmm. That is really people go well. There's no automatic number, and or what is the automatic number? No, there is no automatic number. They go, it'll never help. Blah, blah, blah. It's a PR tool. It's a documentation, like you say. It shows a movement. It gives uh, politicians the backing. You know, it's it. They, you know, are take, sticking their neck out to to issue clemency. Well, there's 330 thousand people behind you on this one. And 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 also journalists that are when they write about Ross, they could take the mm -hmm. the the status, the state view, and and portray him as a criminal. But then, oh wait, there's 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 a million people that want him out. Well, maybe we ought to pause and 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 show that side of the story. Like, right. it's it, right. it counts, in in the court of public opinion. I agree, and that's why we're doing it. Okay, here we go, and I can do this now. So here's the petition today, <clears throat> and um, you can see three hundred thirty-two thousand, and um, 
that's a lot of people. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> it's a definitely a lot of people. And yeah. this is, and if we go to freeross.org slash petition, that's the mm -hmm. URL, right? Yeah, or just there's a big banner on freeross.org's uh, homepage too. Okay, so just go to freeross.org yeah. and if you already signed it, please share it with friends. Yeah, uh, exactly. I, share I it all over. Share it in communities. It's kind of tough because a lot of us have a lot of the same communities and networks. I'm 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 looking for communities like outside of my regular anarchist friends to to try mm -hmm. to, you know, mm -hmm. to try to get some some new uh, exposure to. So. Um, yeah. Well, that brings me to another slide. I'll show you because that kind of segues right in there if I can figure it all out here. Um, okay, so this is a billboard in Times Square that is going to hopefully reach out to people who normally, who's that? Who's Free Ross? Who's Ross, you know? I think we're still seeing your... Uh, your oh, you are? You're not yeah. seeing? It. Oh, so yeah. sorry. Um, okay, so I need to new share. You have 1,700 emails. There we go. <laughs> females. All right. Now, can you see it? Yeah. Yes. That is so cool. That's awesome. I noticed down on the uh, the diner next door says Liberty, which it was, you know, I don't think was planned, but um, <laughs> yeah. So a very generous supporter uh, called me up and he goes, I want to do something. I want to put a billboard in Times Square. Wow. It happens to be a very cheap time. It's still not cheap, but it's, it's, compared to what it would normally would be because nobody's walking around New York City. Right. But buses oh, go interesting. by. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And buses go by and it's going to be up till the election. Wow. So, and now he That's wants awesome. to do something on the side of a building too. And so it's kind of reaching out to people like get, getting curious. And the thing is, look, you don't have to like Ross, agree with any Silk Road, any of that. I mean, I know your audience is much more open to what happened and understanding of it. All you have to know is that a first time nonviolent young offender or any of age got double life plus 40 years without parole. That's all. Nonviolent. Why is a nonviolent person being given a life sentence? Yeah, name one nonviolent. name one criminal that you can name, you can think of that has a bigger sentence than that. I can't. I actually can't. <laughs> Across time and history like uh, I mean geography it's like two what two centuries. It's a two century sentence. If you, you yeah. know, kind of add it up wow. and yeah, it's, it's like, oh, okay, Catherine Forrest, I guess you really made your point. Yeah. But, she, um, yeah. Who was that? The judge? Yeah. yeah. Mm. She and was she, in New York. And she didn't she get referenced his philosophy. She said, uh, it is to be noted that you started this site for philosophical reasons. Meaning as Jim pointed out in Rossathon, it's like, well, voluntary interaction, free market, you know, Bitcoin, whatever. We don't know it's a philosophy you've left behind. That's too dangerous to let you be out ever. This is wow. the United States. Wow. Supposedly we don't get thrown in a cage for our philosophy. Right. And yet this is, she admitted. This she was, bragged about it. She mm -hmm. bragged about it. Yeah. Mm. And I'm sure Chuck yeah. Schumer or whoever her masters are were nodding right along and being like, good job. Mm. You know, so it's a political, it's really a political case. It's, yeah. it's obviously not about drugs. The biggest drug seller on Silk Road got 10 years. He has the same offense level as Ross. Yeah, well, but he ratted. It, he ratted. He turned on everybody. But the, it was yeah, also the cryptocurrency threat. Yeah, yeah. you're right. And yeah, it was about Bitcoin. I think it was about Bitcoin. It was which is definitely. Part of the philosophy. Uh, right, right. Because, I mean, and Bitcoin was the manifestation of that philosophy, of that dangerous philosophy mm -hmm. that was mm -hmm. actually had the power to disrupt the, the banking cartel's uh, mm -hmm. racket. Right. It's that powerful of a tool that was new and they wanted to make sure that they could properly criminalize its usage somehow. Yeah. And they actually sick the NSA on Bitcoin users uh, a couple months before this takedown of Silk Road. They put the full force of the federal government through the NSA after Bitcoin users. And I'm like, well, wait a second. If they're Americans, that's illegal. But they're supposed to be going after terrorists, right? It's like right. they actually consider Bitcoin users as threatening, at least as threatening yeah. as terrorists. It's, it's a financial terrorism they consider it because it, it's uh, not traceable through the banking system. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a lot more fun for them too because they get to steal more, right? <laughs> right? Like, you know, you could go after like, you know, some suicide bombers, but for them, they, the government has to buy all their weapons for them anyway. <laughs> so in this case, in this case, they got to like, hey, 
wait, there's hundreds of millions of dollars of stuff involved? Yeah, let's get in on that. All uh, it is is pot yeah. smokers and cokeheads. Yeah, let's do yeah. those guys. They're not real criminals. Yeah, they, they don't even have an army to come after <laughs> us with. Yeah, so, you know, this is insane. He, sh he needs to get out. And the petition helps, the bill, anything. And P if anybody has ideas like this guy did with the billboard, come on, I'm really easy to get a hold of. And um, But in general, the main goal now is to get the attention of President Trump and have him see the injustice, have him see that Ross is being wasted and um, commute the sentence, which also helps other people because this sets a terrible precedent for the excessive sentencing that's going on in our country, which as I pointed out with the other people serving life for these you know, residue on a dollar bill, et cetera, that's fueling this mass incarceration monster. Um, I mean, this if, if, precedent. If, yeah, if, I mean, Trump could really be could really use criminal justice to his advantage against his against Joe Biden. Right. Mm -hmm. And and a few gestures to that to say, like, look, we recognize that the justice system is flawed. And this uh, this uh, business of 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 incarcerating um, hundreds of thousands or million people, this whole thing is got is not sustainable. And we're going to start by, you know, we're, we're going to make a couple gestures, at least, at least some, some political gestures along the, these lines mm -hmm. could, could really contrast him to uh, his political opponent. Agreed. And, you know, Ross is like the poster boy for excessive sentencing. Like you said, who has a bigger sentence than Ross? Who's nonviolent, first time offender. No, that is violent. A mass murderer. Pol Pot. I mean, I guess, you know, some of these guys <laughs> get executed and that's, that's the worst. I think like, Pol Pot died at like 90 something. Right. It, it was he in jail at least. <laughs> no, I mean, he wasn't. He was like walking free. I'm pretty sure. God. I Eno Shea, he was another one. Well, and Noriega got 20 years or something. I mean, well, there's, there's, um, there's actual kingpins. Of course, saying Ross is a kingpin is, is absurd and an absurd abuse of the system, but they get 25 years. These are people who've killed people. They're kingpins. Uh, I mean, they're, they're, and I, we have it on, actually, I think, on our website um, about the different actual kingpins comparing their sentences to Ross's. But they were CIA frontmen. That's why they got off light. They just, they were frontmen for the CIA. So <laughs> Ross didn't have a buddy in government. That was, that seems that's to be for helpful. sure. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, the libertarians don't do well at that. Not but at all. I'll stop with sharing. But, um, yeah, uh, it's so anyway, I, I'm actually optimistic for the reasons that you're saying, Jim. I think there there is a good there's I think enough people are interested in criminal justice reform and care about it. And it's from both sides of the aisle. It's from both sides of the political spectrum in Ross's case. And I think there's enough noise being made right now. Um, I, I'm optimistic. I think it's a better uh, environment for this. And have you exhausted all the uh, appealing and all that? Well, the direct appeals to the court are exhausted. Once you get to the Supreme Court and, you, and they, you know, you don't listen, um, yeah. you're done there. But there's a civil case um, at, at Southern District, same good old Southern District of New York, um, which is called a habeas petition or a 2255. And that's um, really saying, look, I didn't, was, uh, my counsel was ineffective or... There's um, new evidence or different reasons why it should either be redressed in court or the sentence should be mitigated. And those, um, yeah. mm -hmm. those are tough, though. Those are real tough, tough because they've gutted habeas over the last 150 years. So that was supposed to be ultimate protection mm -hmm. from the feds. And they've just in their own courts. Right. They got their court system have said, well, we, we winnowed and reduced protections. The habeas was afforded. So. But it no, is a play. It's a Hail Mary for it sure. It is a play. I agree. I agree. Just it's a Hail Mary. It's I don't I don't want to dis disparage you. Lynn. Oh no, I'm aware. I just, I, I'm I'm well aware. That's I think it's go ahead, sorry. I was gonna say that's why we're focusing on Clemens. Yeah. I think his best shot is a big check from a donor to a president for a pardon. Yeah, and well let's let's put the word out there. What's the price, guys? We all know justice <laughs> is available to rich people. We just don't know where to shop for it. So yeah. get me a price. I mean, if that's the way, if that's the way you get justice, I mean, it seems ridiculous, but I'm, I'm open to any ideas myself. So. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. And you know, yeah, you just got to keep trying. It's so wrong for him to be in there that I'm just confident that it, this can't be, it just can't be. It is not in my, you know, uh, reality that Ross will die in there. There's no way. So, and you know, think times have changed. Times have changed a lot since his trial. No one had heard of Bitcoin. It was considered this evil, strange thing. Um, pot was not legal in so many places at all. Uh, and now I'm driving down the highway in the Bay Area and there's this whole thing, you know, we del deliver to your door hmm. on a billboard. Right. Like that I was kind of the idea. The road was doing. Yeah. But you again, they're paying, they're paying homage to the state, right? They're getting the local licenses. The state, yeah. state's getting their yeah. chop. That's, I mean, that's the problem. That I'm, right. You know, I don't want to, again. No, I agree. It's, I'm just, the irony of it is a little much. Right. But, but you, you sidestep them and that you, they will uh, right. lash out. Right. You become the, you become right. the poster no. boy. It's like the judge Flipping. said. It's his philosophy. <laughs> mm. And you, all of your philosophy and all of, you know, it's like, yeah, it's a dangerous philosophy of freedom and free choice and open markets and the free market. It's a very, very threatening thing. Yeah, they don't like that at all. No. So. So unfortunately you're not at Porkfest this year, which is really sad for Porkfest attendees. Me too. Very much for me too. I, every year I go to Porkfest and it's like I get my batteries recharged. You know, it's <laughs> like all the people there that just just love bomb me really they're just we love you we love ross we're with you you know and it's it's just i just soak it in you know it's just like oh okay i can i can go another year you know and to miss it um i'm really sorry to miss it i have it's family stuff and i just can't make it but um i am going to be um in las vegas at anarcho vegas and i think um Aaron and kingsley are at pork fest talking about it it's kind of i kind of sort of see it as pork fest west a little bit and um a lot of you know the same people are uh or their philosophy you know similar and and simpatico philosophy are there and they're great people um so i am going there it's an hour flight and i'm getting brought there and quickly and i can do that and um so um i'm looking forward to that at least but I'm, you know, nothing, there's nothing quite like pork fest, <laughs> you know, there really isn't. It's, and I miss you guys, uh, you know, pork fest people. I, I love you guys. I, I, and I, I am very sad not to see you, but I hope I see you before uh, next year. But if not, you know, we're, we're in this together. I'm there in spirit for sure. And so is Ross. So that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, Lynn, thanks for coming on here, and uh, we would definitely love to have you on again sometime. Great. Thank so, you. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, until next time, mm -hmm. uh, is there anything you want to promote <laughs> before we leave? Is there anything you want to plug? Well, I mean, just the petition on our website. There's a store. You can get T-shirts and hats and stuff. Um, uh, there's ways to help us. You know, you can buy through our site on Amazon. We get a little piece of it, and it costs you nothing. Um, you know, just little ways, but also pr helping us with like what you guys are doing, giving me a voice and on social media, you know, there's a lot of lies on social media and through the media, regular media going on out there that, um, is being dispelled a lot by others and I don't have to do it all <laughs> <laughs> or, the, you know, the other people who work on our site, but, um, you know, help spread the word and the narrative and, um, just keep Ross alive. You know, one of the things uh, in terms of his people not forgetting him. One of the things I feared, and I, and I continue to try to make sure it doesn't happen, is that Ross is, for, I don't want him forgotten. I don't want him stuck away in a cage and everybody's gone on to the next thing. It's, he can't be forgotten. And I, and of course, I, I'm just going to do everything I can. Luckily, I have a big mouth. I'm going to be out there. <laughs> but it's like, you know, no, um, he, he represents many people and he's not unique and I, and none of them should be forgotten, but he happens to be my project right now and my son. And, um, don't forget the people in prison. Don't forget the people who, you know, can't speak for themselves. Um, we shouldn't have this happening in our country and, um, it's un-American period. It's un-American. It's wrong. It's evil. So yeah.
uh, so anyway, you got, there's a lot of smart people who are going to be hearing me. You could probably have better ideas than I do. And there is a take action page also on the website that has different ideas and a way to write to Ross and like that. So however you want to get engaged, you know, um, and, you know, I'm open to talking to people about whatever. So. Cool. Well, we're going to try to play this episode at Porkfest. So is there any, is there any like special message that you would like, anything else that you'd like to say to the folks at Porkfest uh, that I'm, that are all wishing you were there and uh, I just wanted to hear from you? I feel like you're my family. I do. I, I feel like um, I'm very sad to not be up there with you this year. I totally intend to be back next year. Um, Every time I come there, as I was saying, I feel replenished. I feel love bombed where I just get I'm filled with so much support and so much. Um, it gives me strength. It really does. And and then just, yeah, just being with all of you. You're very special. And um, yeah, I, I'll miss you, but I'll be there in spirit and so will Ross. Awesome. Yeah. Well, um, Hey, that's about all the time that we have for tonight. Until okay. next, uh, until next time, live yeah. free or die. Stay this is blood break with the blood that is shed. Drenching the flags and the tax bombs in red. Was it by a few at the expense of the many? So do the gods and the machine. You can't justify killing by economic gain. For God, country, and democracy. You can put freedom in death point in a fine land. Stop what the truth, then bring them home. I believe the jokes will do the best for you. And I believe that we have the power, have the power. I hate the slave, and I know I'm a slave. We can make the break, break the power, break the power. Society of individuals, nothing more than not with natural rights With the virtuous person fully comprehends The non-aggression principle The violence of the state becomes obsolete